Hello veterans, welcome to the Veterans Information Channel. Just another reminder that we cannot, cannot let them cut our benefits at the VA. Kevin McCarthy, his bill that just passed, the 217 of his caucus voted for it, 217 federal employees, they call them congressmen, but they're federal employees that you pay your taxes and they want to cut VA benefits 22%. Nobody's ever heard of such an outrageous, outrageous bill. But that's what they want to do. It's not going to pass the Senate. But we can't let them spend taxpayers' money passing a bill, spending time, you know, how many hundreds of thousands of dollars did they spend the past couple weeks putting this bill together, all the aides running around, editing and doing this and doing that, and meetings and everything on your dime if these federal employees, they call congressmen, 217 of them, running around like little chickens for Kevin McCarthy so they can humiliate themselves, thinking veterans are just going to sit back and take this in and that veterans are going to vote for them in 2024. What do you think, veterans? You think you're going to vote for these guys? You just cut your vet that want to cut your benefits by 22%? It's not the idea that they can, that it would pass. It's that they wasted tax dollar money screwing around with that when they should be working on uh, uh, immigration, uh, uh, health care, climate change the budget you know well this is part of the this is the budget they want to pass that cuts the VA big time so go to VA.gov read all about it it's there or just Google you know 118th Congress cutting uh, veterans benefits it's right there so you can find it and then call that number I always give you for the capital. Get the capital operator. Get the congressman in your state. One of the 217, whether you like them or not, that voted to cut your benefits. Let them know. The DAV, the VFW, the VVA, the American Legion, they're all up in arms. They're doing what they can do. But it's a numbers game. If you don't let your voice be heard and your benefits are cut and your spouse's benefits are cut after you're gone and you, you, you know, your family suffers, don't come crying to me because I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Don't let them get away with this.